Hello everyone, hope you're doing well, and in this video I want to show you how to make a static IP address for a device that's connected to LAN on your network, local area network. So for me this is a printer and I had trouble with the device because I don't want it to jump around on IP addresses on me. So here I'm using Netgear because then you know things that save its IP addresses. 192.168.1.9 and then it changes over when it reboots because it's dynamically applied to like 1.27 you know it's going to screw me up so here you go from after you log into your router 192.168.1.1 um, type in username and password then go to advanced um, and then inside advanced now this is for a Netgear router um, you're going to go to setup and then um, local setup and in your local setup here, you're going to go ahead and um, go down to add a new device. And I'm sorry for the window in front, I have to do that for privacy. And um, go to add. And for me, this is my 1.1.9 because this is my printer. And so I'm just going to get rid of this window now. Okay. And I want to take this device here, 1.1.9, which is my $40 Brother printer from Best Buy. And I just want to um, static device this. So let's change this. Brother printer. So we have an HP printer, so I need to specify it. Um, okay, and then just go ahead and click add. Now, um, how am I going to do this? Let's see, make sure. So I'm just going to click add, but I'm going to make sure that there's nothing private here. Alright, here we go. So here it says um, address reservation. You can go ahead and see your devices that have um, a reserved address. Now, some of this is kind of dumb because like, I don't have the iPhone 4S anymore, it doesn't work anymore. Um, so you can see why you wouldn't normally want to do this but um yes yeah, so you can see here that um here we have um where is it brother printer should be on here somewhere at 1.9 maybe it's it's down on the list more but yeah this does work and it really helps yeah here's brother printer um it, it really helps solve issues where you try to access something on your local area network and um, it gets signed automatically a new IP address. So I hope this helps. I know um, this is only for Netgear routers, but it's kind of the same process in other routers. Um, thanks for watching.